trying to get this thing to start, man. This thing's not gonna start, I already know it. <sighs> I don't know what to do no more. What's good? What's good, Stu Nation? It's your boy Stu, and I am back with another vlog. Now, last time we left off, I gave you guys an update on everything that I've done to the bike and what I'm doing to the bike and how much it costs. A couple weeks after I filmed that video, I went to go start the bike, you know, just to keep it running and keep the fluids going through the bike and everything, and the bike didn't start. <sighs> This bike has put me through so many levels of emotions and frustrations. I don't even know how to feel. Me and a buddy of mine could not figure out why the bike was not starting. It has spark, the spark plugs was good. Only thing is my fuel pump inside the gas tank has gone bad. So we did it the old fashioned way. We went to start the bike up. We took a rubber mallet to the fuel pump, knocked it and it started right up. So that let us know that the fuel pump was bad. Now I'm gonna guarantee you guys, as soon as we take this fuel pump out, it's gonna be filled with so much dirt and so much grime. But I bought myself a brand new pump, a brand new strainer or filter. And also I bought a rear view mirror for the left side that I have not put on yet. And I also finally got my license plate mount for my bike. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that stuff on, hopefully knock most of that stuff out today. And yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys know in every video, I gotta give a big, big shout out to the comment winner of the last video and the new subscribers to the channel. Welcome to the Stu Nation. So, first things first, I have to drain the rest of the fuel that's inside my gas tank out so I can take the fuel pump off so actually change of plans I'm actually gonna take the whole entire gas tank out and then just pour it into this little bin over here I don't want to pull it out and have all this gas flowing everywhere so I'm trying to pull it out as slow as possible Ooh. So now that I got the gas tank off, now off comes the fuel pump. So now I gotta take off these five bolts and then it should come right out. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be too much. All I gotta do is loosen these three bolts, take off these two bolts, take this whole monitor, this motor right here, slide it down or slide this piece up so I can take this out. Look at that. None of that is supposed to be inside there. You look inside there. Yeah, this thing is nice, boy. It's 85. 1985 Monte Carlo SS dream car. I'm gonna respray paint the interior and everything, dude. This is my boy Big Rob. Big Rob. This is 1985 Monte Carlo SS. This thing is hella, hella nice. So, when are you planning on doing the interior after everything else? So, probably within like the next two weeks, I'll have the exhaust on here. Yeah. Had the headers on here, and that'd be, and that'd be it. And then I'm working on the paint, get it repainted. A little cow hood on here. Yeah. Know? Yeah. <laughs> We gonna be ready, man. I'm burning tires all day, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get back to this thing. Yeah, you go ahead, this man. Shit. You have fun, man. Like I told you, man. You got your light because the sun is about to go down. I know. All right, back to Stuzuki. Stuzuki. I just replaced the old one, put the new one in. Now all I gotta do is put this inside the tank, put the tank back on, fill it up with gas, and then turn it over. Hope and pray that this works. told you guys when I first got the bike there's a lot of things that was missing from the bike well you can tell that this guy took this bike apart because these screws right here this one and right here that actually holds the gas tank down to the frame are missing you buy something like this 
and you're not prepared to take care of it and put money into it, then don't get it. Let's tighten this one down. This bike's slowly coming together and starting to actually look like a rideable bike. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pack up all these tools, pick up my trash, go to the gas station, fill this up, put it in here, and then hopefully it runs. So you remember when I told you guys about two or three videos ago, this? So if I get a situation with my car or my motorcycle, I can fix it myself. I don't have to go to a dealership and spend hundreds of dollars. Well, things have kind of changed. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm sitting here inside of a U-Haul van. An empty one at that. Well, it's not gonna be empty for long. I tried everything, y'all. After last night, I tried uh, putting the fuel pump in and thinking that for sure it was the fuel pump that was holding this bike from starting up. And it wasn't. I don't, I don't know. I, I tried starting the bike up and it didn't, it didn't turn over. It turned over, but it didn't start. So at this point, I exhausted off my means that what I can do with the bike and what I know that it could possibly be. I'm caving, I'm, I'm tapping out, and I'm going ahead and take it to the professionals. I talked to my dad last night, and this is a man that knows his ways around motorcycles and cars, and he even told me, son, go ahead and take the bike to the shop. I should just go ahead and let the professionals figure this one out. Hopefully they can figure out and tell me what's going on with this bike and it doesn't cost way too much money. This chick is over there, is checking out my car and looking at my, my YouTube channel. Well, if you are watching this and you subscribe to my channel, give a shout out, comment at the bottom, and show some support. And if you guys made it this far, thank you, Stu Nation, for the support that you guys have given me so far on this bike. I know it's been like a short but long journey. I know everybody's expecting me to having this bike up and running and everything, but it's out of my hands at this point. I'm getting a lot of people saying, Stu, why'd you buy the bike? Uh, has all these problems with it. Again, I say, people, I bought this bike as a project bike to see what I can do and what I can learn with this bike. It's just taking a turn for worse. But I'm gonna stay positive about it and then hopefully it will work out for the best. But anyways, thank you guys for the support. Let's go ahead and get down the road. I finally got back to base, so now I'm about to load the bike up inside a U-Haul back here and then probably meet up with my boy, have him help me load it up. What's up, G? But I need you to help me load this damn thing up. I wish you would have told me to brought you my hand slide and everything. Go get your damn toenail. You you free man? Are you able to ride with me to Freshburg? Or? Yeah. All right. I mean, you go ahead and put some shoes on and put them corns away, boy. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't think you want to advertise that. <laughs> don't lick the toes, man. Don't lick the toes. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in on them. Hey, <laughs> Trying to get this thing to start, man. This thing's not gonna start, I already know it. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit look like a prison van, dog. It does. Well, I feel like these are the shackles. You can't when you get a chance, check out my channel, bro. That's what I actually feel I'm filming for right now. Appreciate it. No problem, man. Good luck, guys. Yeah, thank you, man. All right, so the object right now is get the bike loaded up. Now we're about to strap it down and then take it to the bike shop. He knows the dude there, so hopefully he can provide some insight on what's going on with this bike. I'm actually liking these things. I need to get me one. Let's imagine one of these with the whole Big Stew logo on the side. That'd be hot. With some meaty tires. Shit, my lens is starting to get wet. And we're off to the shop. Just ride the front brake. And then when you get ahead, because I got this side. I got you. And that's it. Yep. All right, so we're here at Time to Ride with my boys, and they're gonna see if they can get the job done with uh, the Stusuki. Stusuki.
We got a good reference from my boy Rob here. Hopefully he didn't steer me wrong with some people. Hopefully they, would, man. <laughs> hopefully they can figure it out, bro. Like I said before, if it's something too crazy and it's starting to be too expensive to get this bike done, then I'm just gonna probably wipe my hands with it. There you go. Yep. All right, y'all uh, take care. They gonna call you, they gonna call you by like Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. They, they pretty fucking good. I ain't gonna lie to you. I can watch them because they some work on my bike. Well, hopefully they can just figure it out and we can get the bike up and running. All right, people, so I'm back on base. Um, drop the bike off, hopefully hear some word about it tomorrow, if not later on this week. At this point, a waiting game. I'm gonna eat my burger fry, because I'm mad hungry, I haven't ate all day. Y'all go ahead and, you know, like, share, and subscribe, click that button down at the bottom, comment, do maybe, or maybe not, you'll win the comment winner of this video. So, go. Why y'all sit here? Go ahead, put the logo up on my face. Yep, yep, you know, click a video here or whatever, whatever. I'm waiting. Go ahead. Go ahead, subscribe. Quit complain with me and click the subscribe button. Like this video. Comment. Right, right, right.